<laughs> All right. One of my favorite games that I play with a lot whenever I have play groups is a game that comes out of a theater sport called Filling the Space. Uh, basically, you get your group and you tell everybody at first just have your poi wrapped up in your hands so they're out of the way. Then you explain to the group that we're going to play a game that's called Filling the Space. And it goes like this. We pretend we're air molecules. And Andreas and I are pretending we're a whole group. But we're not. We're two people. But we're going to pretend we're a group. So pretend there's lots of us. Okay. And air molecules, if air molecules move towards each other, they get pushed away from each other. But if air molecules get too far away from each other, they get pulled back towards each other. And in your space, you've got a, a certain amount of room, which you might even have to put a barrier to make it not too big. So you tell everybody, okay, everybody start walking and pretend you're air molecules. So everybody starts walking around. And you tell them their goal. The goal is you're in charge. You are personally responsible for the whole room. That no space is left unfilled. You are, so if you're walking out of a corner, if nobody walks into it, you have to get pulled back in the corner. Oh, Andre, Andreas got it. He, oh, I, this space needs to be filled. And then, oh, out and over here, that needs to be filled. And you're always aware of the whole space, including what's behind you. And that's the important thing. It develops your awareness of the space around you and your proximity and interaction with other people. So you get people playing. Ta -da. And pretty quickly, it's fun. And people start getting silly. And then you can introduce some things. Like, OK, start neutral. So no expression. We're just walking around like robots. No expression. Very neutral. Just neutral movement. Make sure you're filling the space. I don't want to see any spaces left open. Okay. Okay. So they play that a bit. And then you go, well, maybe, maybe that's a bit boring. Maybe you can pretend you're in the hop and hop at rush hour. That means a central train station. And you're late for work. Uh, and you got in trouble the other day. And now, but don't make sure you're filling the entire space. Yeah. And don't let any spaces get unfit. Yeah. And uh, you really got to get there. You're going to be, oh, boy, the last time you were late, the thing happened. And you forgot the other thing. And then that was really stressful. And then you might not be able to do the other thing. Yes. And then people's blood really gets going. And then you say, OK, but let's, even better, let's pretend you're also in a spy movie. And so you're sneaking. Now you're, but don't forget, you're filling the space. The entire space, that's your mission. Your entire space has to be filled, right? Yeah. You're finding all the empty spaces, right? In fact, you can even pick somebody secretly in the room, and that's who you're hiding from. So now there's somebody in particular, but you can't let them know that's who you're hiding from. <laughs> And then, after all that stress, you say, uh, now it's a beautiful spring day. Oh, it's the first day of spring. It's a day off. And you're just kind of walking through the sun. And it's just there's music playing. It's all so relaxing. It's so relaxing that you feel like, uh, like playing a game. And you, you let out a poi. Now, the poi is the air molecule. Don't spin it yet. No spinning yet. You can swing it and move it in any kind of funny way, but no, no spinning. And so as you move through the room, you need to be aware of all the other poys. So if you're coming close to somebody, if, if Andreas's poi is up high, I have to go low with my poi. If my poi is up high, he has to go low with his. If my poi moves towards him, he has to move his poi away. So your poi is floating through this matrix of other poise over and under and close and far. And they're all moving like air molecules. Once that's working, you can initiate capoeira, which means as you come up to somebody, you can take a moment and you can play capoeira with them, which means you're kind of like teasing each other in and out of each other's space, dancing around each other. Right? He comes near, I have to go far. If I come in, he has to go. He goes high, I have to go low. And then you move to the next person. And oh, here's my next person. Pretend it's a new person. We play a little capoeira. Whoosh, whoo. You know, play around each other. Just a little bit. Then to the next person. Right. Then you get to poi spinning. And you got everybody to pick. Well, actually, no, at this point, that's where we'd have to actually start a new lesson. So uh, 
Okay, that's good for now. And then the next video is gonna be about the lesson that we'll have to stop to do at this point in the class. Mm -hmm.